How are you, my friends? In this video, I will be presenting eight questions with complete solutions, all about absolute value. Plus, there are three practice questions at the end, as usual, with only the answers. But before, please, let me start quickly to define the absolute value, then we go to the examples. Absolute value simply is the distance from the zero to the number on the number line. Simply, it is a distance. So the absolute value of seven is seven. The absolute value of minus 18 is 18. The absolute value of zero is zero. Everyone, everyone knows that. But the distance is the important part, so it is a positive. Now, there is an important definition here for absolute value. Here, the definition. Absolute value of A is equal to A or minus A. See, A here, we don't know. It's a variable. So, absolute value of A is equal to A if A greater than or equal to zero. And the answer is minus a if a is less than zero. Just try to understand all the examples we will do. They will be about this definition here. Now let's start with one simple example before I start the other eight. Absolute value of x is equal to x. If you look at this one, so many people will say true. That's false. Oh boy, why this is false? absolute value of x is equal to x because x can be negative. See, when I say x, it's a variable. See, if you write absolute value of x is equal to x, that's false in mathematics. x can be minus 10. So absolute value of minus 10 is equal to minus 10? No. You see the idea? Okay, let's see another one. Absolute value of y is equal to minus y. False, because y can be positive here. Also, it can be negative. Now, absolute value of x, another question here. Absolute value of x is equal to x if x is greater than zero. True. See, we have, we call this condition. x greater than zero means, he is telling us in the question, x is positive. So if x is positive, the absolute value of the x is x. Look at the definition. See, this is the important part here, the shaded definition. All the question you answer from this. Look at the condition first. A greater than zero, the absolute value of A is A. If A less than zero, the absolute value of A is minus A. Now let's see another one. Absolute value of Y is equal minus Y if y less than zero. True. Okay, I hope you understand the definition now. Let's see the questions. The first one is easy question. One over three times absolute value. You see, this is an absolute value here by itself, minus one over three, plus three times absolute value of minus three, all divided by 2 squared minus 13 times the absolute value of minus 2. Pause please for a little second, one minute maybe. You can find the answer and then you can compare with the next slide. See, I can, I can help you here. You have to find each value in the absolute value. Absolute value of minus 1 over 3. So it is 1 over 3, positive. But remember, there is here a multiplication because the 1 over 3 times, also here, 3 times absolute value of minus 3. You cannot write plus 3. I have seen some students before. They write 3 plus 3, 6. That's wrong. Please try to avoid that. 3 times the plus 3, that's 9 here. Let's see. You see the 9 there? See 3 times 3? 
So many people, they write three plus three because they know the absolute value of minus three is plus three. So they write plus three, then they change the question. It is not six. Three plus three is six. But three times three here is nine. One over three times one over three, one over nine. You see that? Now the LCD here is nine. This is eight to one over nine. Two squared is four minus 13 times the absolute value of minus two is two. Can we subtract four minus 13? No. We have to multiply first by the order of operations. If you need to see more questions about the order of operations, you can go back to one of my videos on order of operations or real numbers. You will find many examples. So four minus 26 is minus 22 over one. Remember here why? Because we have a fraction over a fraction. So I leave the first fraction 81 over nine times the reciprocal here. Reciprocal one over minus 22. And then I divide by two. So minus 41 over 99 is the final answer. Question number one. Let's see question number two, please. Also, please here, I would like you to pause the video for a second or so. Replace x equals, oh, x equals minus six, y equals five. Replace it there. And then I have shown the answer. Okay, so x will be minus six, just replace it in the absolute value. So two times the absolute value of minus six will be six. And then the five in the Y, three times the five is inside. Listen here carefully for the absolute value of X, Y squared. See the X only minus six, leave it times. Y squared will be five, the squared on the five only. So 25 times six, and there is no minus because we have the absolute value. 12 minus 15 up. So minus three over six times 25, minus one over 50, divide by three. So minus one over 50. I think you can try, oh, this is not easy question. Wow. Sim try it, please, try it. Simplify the expression. It's a big expression here. By removing the absolute value bars. But remember when you remove the absolute value, what do you have to do? First slide, you have to check positive A or negative A. If it is positive A, you leave it. If it is negative A, you put minus before the A. So this is an A here. You see this one here, minus two, minus pi, that's A. Minus three, that's A. Six minus two pi, that's A. Minus two plus pi, that's A. Every question, you simplify it separate. Did you finish? Okay, let me show you now the final, final, final answer first. Then I will explain in details. The final answer is 3 pi minus 7. I hope you get it. Divided by pi minus 2. The final, final answer. Now look here. I help you. I put the definition from the first slide. You see this definition? That's the basic. Let's apply this. Minus two minus pi. See, that's A here, inside here. So minus two minus pi. If you think of it, minus two minus pi is negative number because pi is 3.14 with a minus and minus two. So that's negative. If it is negative number, that means we go down here. We go down here. So if I remove the absolute value, I have to put the minus outside, minus A. You see the idea? See, I put here minus A, and then it's two plus pi. You have to be careful to know how to do it. You have to check the number, the value, A inside the absolute value. Let's go second one here. All right. See, see, look here, 
minus outside, you see minus outside from here, absolute value of minus three. I know it is three, but I'm explaining the definition. Minus three is negative. So I have to put minus, minus three. It becomes three. See, there is a minus in the question. There is a minus in the question here. Absolute value of minus three. That's three, we know that. So directly you can write, if you like, directly here you can write minus three, directly. But to explain more, inside the bracket here, you should write minus, minus three, which is plus three. Now six minus two pi, see here. This is another a, six minus two pi. It's negative because two times pi is more than six. So it's negative. So I have to put the minus before. Now look at the last one in the denominator. Minus two plus pi, what is that? Minus two, look here in the green. Minus two plus pi, positive. Positive, I go first line here. So I should not change anything. I write plus, same number, minus two plus pi, because it is positive a. Now, if you understand this example three, you can do the other examples by using the same definition. So now when you simplify everything here, uh, two minus three minus one minus seven, two pi, three pi minus seven over pi minus two, just make the answer, it looks nice. Let's see another one. Question number four. If X is less than, uh, greater than or equal to five, find the value here, absolute value of X minus five, plus absolute value of five minus X, plus square root of minus 10 squared inside the radical here. What do you think we can do? If X is greater than five, like 5, 5 5.1, 5.2, 5.3, 6, 7.1, 7.2, 10, 10.5, 10.6, any number until infinity. This is A now. Remember the A? This is A, X minus 5. Positive or negative? If X is big, big, big number, bigger than 5, that's positive. 5 minus X, that's another A. Positive or negative? Negative. You see? X minus 5 is positive. So I leave it here. X minus 5. 5 minus X is negative. So it will be minus 5 minus X, which means minus 5 plus X. Now look here for the radicals. You can see the video on radicals. I explained there in details with many examples the square root, the absolute value, the index, etc. So we know this is the absolute value of minus 10, which is only 10. So minus five, minus five and 10, they cancel. X and X is, two X is the answer. You see this question here? The whole answer is two X. Nice question. Number five, please take a minute here. I will not show you the answer. Now, let's see, y squared plus three in the bracket, x plus two y, down we have absolute value, y minus x. x is minus one, y is two. Straightforward, simple. Let's see the answer. Okay, 13 over three. I think many people, they get the correct answer. I tried this before in the classes. X is minus one, Y is two. So two squared is there, three in the bracket. See in the numerator, we don't have absolute value. And Y we have two minus minus one. So absolute value of three, three. So that's 13 over three. Let's see another nice question. Oh, this is really nice. We have one, two, three, four, five absolute values. X is equal to two y is equal to minus 3. Replace x2, replace y equals minus 3. After you replace, you be careful. <laughs> See, that's one step. Replace, 
and we don't say replace and do. Replace, be careful, then do. Look at the minuses, look at the pluses, and then the absolute value. You should get one answer, either an integer number or a fraction. We will see now. Did you finish? Okay, let's go. <clears throat> this one is minus 55. I think many people will get this answer. Just replace x equals 2 in the question there, see directly, y is minus 3. So 2 minus 6 is minus 4, that's 4. Minus 3 minus 6 is minus 9, the absolute value is 9, etc., etc., etc. Down in the denominator we have minus, absolute value 2, minus 3. Okay, and then uh, the answer is uh, minus 55. Question number, oh, there are some properties. I just want to show you some properties, easy, simple properties. Absolute value always positive. Uh, if you have absolute value of minus A, same as absolute value of A, remember that, same value. The product, if you have a product in the absolute values, you can, you can split them. If you have a division, you can split them. But the last one, if you have a sum, a plus B, absolute value of A plus B is not equal to absolute value of A plus absolute value of B, not always. So we have to put less than, we call it triangle inequality. Just read these five properties. And now the distance between two points or two numbers. On the number line, if you have two numbers, like these numbers, look here in the example, minus five and eight. If someone asks you, give me the distance between the numbers, minus five and eight, you have to use absolute value. So look at the first formula here, the distance here. That's the formula. Absolute value of A minus B or absolute value of B minus A. That will give you the same number, believe it or not. If you have the numbers minus five, eight, Find absolute value of A minus B. Put A minus five, B eight. Find absolute value A minus B. You get 13. Now, put A eight, B minus five. Find the absolute value B minus A, same number. See, now you can get the rule, the last line here. You can get the rule here. Absolute value of A minus B, always the same of absolute value B minus A. And also we have absolute value of minus X, the same as absolute value of X. This is from property number two, you see, same value here. You can put X and X, Y and Y. And here we have the distance, absolute value A minus B, same absolute value B minus A. Always remember that. Now let's see question number seven. Are the following equations true or false? Absolute value of P squared, you see the squared inside is equal, absolute value of P all squared. Second question, absolute value of P cubed inside, same as absolute value of P all cubed, what do you think? You can pause the video, please. Think, tell me true or false and why. Or one is true, one is false. Both are true, both are false. You can decide, write it down to compare with my answer and illustration. Let's see. Both are correct. Both are correct. Let me show you in details the first one, please. Absolute value of P squared. I will go in details. Look here in details. Absolute value of P squared means absolute value of P times P. Is that correct? Yes. And look at the yellow here, the product formula. You see this one? Absolute value A times B. You can split it. So this will be absolute value of P times absolute value of P using the product property. 
When you multiply two numbers, you put squared outside. So that's correct. You can do the same for the cube. Very nice question. So both are correct. If you have absolute value. Now, question number eight is the most difficult. X between zero and one. Remember, X between zero and one. Find the value of absolute value of X minus five plus big absolute value minus two X plus two divided by sum of two absolute values. Little tricky, little hard, little challenging. Please pause the video for a minute and then do it check your answer in the next slide. That will be the last question before we see the practice. Okay, I think you finished now. X between zero and one. See, you have to go one by one. You have to simplify this. You have to simplify inside here and you have to simplify this one inside. Let me show you in details. I did this question number eight and the answer is six minus two X. Listen carefully. I put again the definition that we have to use from slide number one. Okay, X minus five, is X minus five positive or negative? X minus five is negative because X between zero and one it can be half, one third, one over four, one over five. If you subtract five, it will be negative. So I have to put a minus outside according to definition. Now let's go inside. Leave, please, please here. Leave this big absolute value. Go to X here. Absolute value of X is plus X. Why? Positive. See positive between zero and one. Now X minus two is negative X minus two. So I put minus outside. So X minus X minus minus two becomes two here. See, when you cancel the two, you can take common factor. Remember, you cannot cancel this two and this two, or this two and this two. You have to take a common factor. Leave minus X plus five, and now here we have minus X plus one. That's positive number. See, that's positive number. Positive number, we write the same here, plus minus X plus one. So minus X minus X, six minus two X is the answer. This is not easy question, I'm sure, but please try it one time or two times until you learn it, understand it. Now, this is practice number one. Find the value, replace X is equal to three Y minus two. And this is practice number two, similar to the one we did. And this is similar to question number eight. Not easy, but you can do it. Compare the steps of number question number eight. You will find the answer. Uh, and then the answers are there only. Thank you for watching. I hope I can see you in another video with another topic. Thank you very much.